We got our month end numbers for March from Westover and no surprise. It was a very mild and very wet month. In fact, we saw over seven inches of rain and that's just at Westover. I'm sure some areas picked up a little bit more. I think Barnes actually did get a little bit more, but that ranks it as the second wettest March on record. Those records at Westover going back to the early 1940s. We only picked up a trace of snow, a trace. Now a trace or less, and when you go back to the early 1940s, it's uncertain whether it was a trace or it was actually nothing that was recorded, but that's only happened nine times in the course of those, you know, several decades, which is pretty impressive too. And it just puts us farther down in that deficit for the season so far, which we'll talk about in a second. Temperature wise, it was very warm too, five degrees above normal for the month, which makes it the eighth warmest March on record. Now, currently we actually do have a decent snowpack. In fact, this is a better snowpack than what we saw most of the month of March because of the nor'easter that just moved through. Now, a lot of the, you know, Central Valley has really lost to any sleet accumulation that happened from yesterday, but the mountains definitely picked up some solid snow accumulation with eight, nine inches getting close to the Vermont, New Hampshire border. Now we will likely see this deplete pretty quickly over the next couple of days because it is April after all, but 17% of the U.S. is still covered in snow. The majority of which again is out across the Rockies, the Sierras too. Now our snow stats are pretty weak for Western Mass, especially in the Valley. 20 0.4 inches to date at Westover. The normal is 47 and the normal for the year is 49 and a half. The last time we were above normal for snowfall for the year was the winter uh, snow season of 2016 2017. So it's been several years since we've been above normal for snowfall. We've gotten close 2017 and 18 uh, 2020 2021 when we were all of course stuck inside with the COVID outbreak, we were at 44, almost 45 inches. But the last several years, we've been very far below normal. This year could end up being one of the lightest snowfall years uh, on record for us. Taking a look at the current satellite radar, there is still snow falling across a lot of the northeast. That coastal low is going to linger off the coast of Maine. It's going to kind of pinwheel back down south and then eventually push away from the coast by Sunday. So we're still kind of stuck in this pattern. Lots of clouds. It's breezy. It's chilly. Wet weather diminishes tonight, but then it will return tomorrow afternoon. Mostly cloudy in the morning, maybe a break of sun like this morning. Most of the showers are off to our east, but a few of those still pinwheel back across western Mass. Then as we go into Saturday night, we're still mostly cloudy. Cloudy, maybe a rain or snow shower, and then Sunday, it looks like we're going to be mostly dry. I don't expect any of this to really hit the ground, or most of it will not hit the ground. Wind will be out of the north at about 10 to maybe 15 miles an hour. I don't think it'll be as blustery as the last few days. Then the cloud cover exits fast for Sunday night and Monday morning, bright sunshine, lighter breezes, and it gets warm in a hurry. And it just so happens that's the day of the solar eclipse, the day we've been talking about for months now. The path of totality, that's the big show going from Texas all the way up to Maine. And then the farther you get away from that path, the less of the sun will be covered by the uh, moon. So for us, we're going to have about a 93.3% coverage, but it is a night and day difference from that line of totality to here in Western Mass. Even though over 90% of the sun gets covered, it doesn't change the amount of daylight outside. You won't notice a difference just walking outside. You'll have to look at shadows projected onto the ground. You'll have to, you know, use your solar glasses to look up at the sun to actually see it decreasing in size. Uh, and, you know, the temperatures aren't going to drop. They're going to stay the same. But in totality, the daylight goes to a twilight. It gets dark. It gets cooler. You see stars and planets. Venus is actually going to be very bright and very close to the sun. Uh, so it's going to be a really cool sight for those who have clear skies. And that's been the biggest battle leading up to this event is who gets clear skies. And right now we do most of New England, actually, which is awesome. Uh, Tuesday, partly cloudy. Wednesday, there are some shower chances. Temperatures will start cooling off a little bit for Thursday with some rain. Might see a few showers or even a rumble of thunder on Friday. And then we're a bit cooler again and breezy by next weekend. Chris, back to you.